Hello, this is John Felt. Welcome to the NCGA Valent Ag Weather Outlook, September 3rd, 2016. Let's start off this briefing by looking at the anomaly of precipitation for the month of August. And what really stands out are a couple things. We have these really strong streaks of tropical moisture streaming inland, but I think what's actually from agricultural perspective, what's more significant is look at how widespread the above normal precipitation was in August across almost the entire primary corn belt. That's indicated in green. Now that's uh, green is indicated anywhere from 130 to 170% of normal. In some cases, twice normal. That's 200%. The darker green and blue, even three times normal in a couple little dots here. Now there are some exceptions. The four eastern sections here and a couple dots here and there, some yellow northwest Iowa. But overall, it was a wet month. We look at temperature, the eastern half of the Corn Belt above normal temperatures, the western half near normal. So that was the month of August. And if we look at more recently, the last seven days here, you can see it was very typical. Last month of August continued into early September with scattered precipitation over areas. And that's sort of been the story for quite some time now. We not so much these tremendous, impressive rain systems, but just Every couple days or every three days or several times a week, we've had rain somewhere. I don't think there's been one week throughout the entire summer that when I looked at one of these, we didn't have rain somewhere over the Midwest. But the big story last week was Hermain as it moved up the East Coast. Here is the precipitation. Red is indicating five inches. You can see along the immediate coast are a couple little pockets, nearly 10 inches. So a widespread soaking rain in that area. And if we look at soils there, that area was actually pretty dry. So actually three to four inches soaked into the soil before you really got significant runoff. So it was beneficial in many areas here, that type of rain. Now I'm sure there are problems with flooding and localized uh, tributary flooding, but for the most part, this gives an example of even a very heavy rain vent can have some positives. But look at the soils over the Midwest. We're dealing with wet soils. So as we get towards the harvest time, we want things to dry out. And right now we're in a sort of a precarious situation. We're vulnerable. We don't need more rain in most spots. And uh, so that's sort of what the focus will be on. Now temperatures here for over the last week, we had a cool down and some dry air move in late in the week for the beginning of the holiday period over most of the area, but the averages were still above normal over most spots, especially the eastern Corn Belt. Okay, so let's look at the forecast. Here's the jet stream um, over the next week, and what we have here is after the start of cool weather, we're getting a um, amplified flow here, and when, he, when I say amplified flow, I mean there's a dip in the jet stream in one area, in this case the west, and a resulting bulge in the jet stream north um, in response over the east. So what that's going to do is that's going to warm up temperatures fairly quickly and we're going to go, be going through a period of above normal temperatures for a while and that'll be the early part of September. Now that's not going to last. We're sort of in a more active pattern here but at least for the beginning the first five to maybe eight days, first week at least, we're going to warm up once again. So there'll be a focus for some precipitation over the upper Midwest, this front coming through here. This is on uh, Tuesday. So there is some very heavy rain forecast for parts of the upper Midwest. And this is an area that's wet. So this is not what we want another three inches to maybe one to three inches, even locally more over Minnesota. That's not necessarily what we want in that area because soils are already wet. Now everywhere else, some modest precipitation. I don't think it's gonna be a big deal anywhere else, but really it looks like over that uh, north central U.S. is the area where there could be quite a bit of rain. Now we get into the period of September 8th through the 13th, and that area of blue is indicating that the jet stream is sagging south. Now, if you read my post last week, I gave my thoughts on fall, and you know you can uh, go back and read that. Or if you don't uh, have it, let me know, and I'll email it to you. My email is john at bluewateroutlook.com. But I expressed my thoughts on a warmer than normal and a drier than normal fall. And uh, so far as we get into September, uh, the middle part of the month, um, that's not necessarily starting off necessarily on the right track because we have this dip in the jet stream. And what that will be doing will be bringing in some cooler air. But it's going to be a while. This is six to ten days, and you can see it's still generally off to our west. But then as we get into this period, the 13th through the 18th of September, the middle part, we do cool down. So as far as the temperature goes, 
starting out as I speak cooler drier air then we're going to get moister air warmer air above normal um, right through the maybe the 10 day period and then we're going to be going back to fairly widespread cooler temperatures um, as we get to the middle part of the month okay so that's temperature here's precipitation well if you're in the southern part of the the region that dry spell is after uh, the hurricane pass it's going to kick right back in for the next two weeks looks very dry but if we look at week one over the north central u.s that's that trouble spot with more precipitation and then when i look at week two i don't see a strong dry signal either um, usually in that cool air once that moves in it might not be so much but right now it looks like at least a chance in week two so i think the vulnerability is going to persist as we get um, into september and I, I did mention that that's a little bit of my concern this uh, this time is that soils are wet it's not going to take a whole lot with harvest time to have some issues so let's um, hope it's not too bad but you see these little green shades here this is a six to seven day ha hazards outlook and this is for heavy rain so um, Right now, there is that possibility for heavy rain and above normal temperatures in red, and that's the hot spell that we're going to be in or warmer than normal for the up to the next week or so. So the takeaway points, I think I've covered these, uh, heavy rain, north central U.S., above normal precipitation, above normal temperatures for a while, but I think it'll be cooling off as we get into the middle of the month. Now, if you haven't looked at the Weather Decisions dashboard, take a look at that. I look at that every single day. I use that for a lot of my products that I'm looking at. Just remember, NCGA is a username and password. And if you want to get to it, go to agweatheradvisor.com. Take a look and have a great week and a great holiday weekend.